Governor Dan McKee made a stop at Quonset's Port of Davisville this morning, celebrating the completion of a new berth at the port. It's the latest step in the ongoing renovations paid for by bonds approved by Rhode Island voters. Modernizing the port for continued use and growth into the future, Governor McKee also toured a car processing facility there and watched as vehicles arrived in the Ocean State. Our 12 News reporter Kayla Fish got a first-hand look ahead of the governor's visit. Rhode Island is home to one of the top 10 auto importers in all of North America, with hundreds of thousands of vehicles being offloaded right here in the Ocean State each and every year. We got an exclusive behind the scenes look at the magnitude of this operation and what keeps it moving forward. Daybreak at Quonset Point, a massive ship getting ready to dock. But what brings one of the world's largest car carrying ships to the nation's smallest state? Quonset's Port of Davisville. Location is everything. To an outsider, seeing this 13 deck ship takes your breath away. But for the folks here, it's business as usual. Yeah, it happens here several times a week. It's very exciting. The ship, like a floating parking garage, with thousands of brand new vehicles packed tightly on board. The precious cargo under constant surveillance from the ship's crew. Once it's docked, drivers take hundreds of cars, one by one, from the ship to the lots at the Ocean State's only public port. Well, we handle about 300,000 cars a year. Uh, obviously, that varies from year to year. These vehicles processed here at Quonset by North Atlantic Distribution. And we get them ready for the dealers. So that could mean simple as putting a label in the window, or it could mean uh, as exciting as you know changing out into short throw shifters. Whatever the final customer wants, we can prepare the vehicle. Year after year, the port broke its auto import record until 2020 when the pandemic shut down manufacturing. And still, these lots look a bit emptier than they used to thanks to a computer chip shortage, which has derailed the automotive industry. Quonset authorities tell me they've seen about a 15% drop in traffic. There's going to be a, a blip here for a while with the manufacturing, but I think by the end of this, this year, that'll get sorted out. Meanwhile, the foreign trade zone is revving up. Renovations funded by bonds that Rhode Island voters approved are ongoing. Uh, we have an $83 million rehabilitation project underway, and we just recently dedicated this eastern side, this new berth of Pier 2. We extended the berth and made it long enough to accommodate this very large ship you see behind us. It's really fantastic and helps us to, uh, to bring all these jobs and, and all this uh, exciting prosperity to Rhode Island. Now, this port not only handles vehicles, but also large-scale pieces of equipment, like components for offshore wind projects, something we could be seeing more of here in southern New England soon. To learn more about Quonset and the other 200 businesses located here, visit this story on our website, WPRI.com. Reporting in North Kingstown, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.